Hey guys, it's Lou here with another tutorial. I'm going to be doing something a little different and I'm going to show you how to play Minecraft Java with a controller. Because Java does not have this capability right now, you're going to need Steam. So make sure you have Minecraft and Steam installed on your computer. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and open up your Steam launcher. And from here you're going to go to add game in the bottom left hand corner and then you're gonna add a non-Steam game. Here you're gonna go and search for Minecraft, and it's right there for me, so I'm gonna hit Add Program. And after that, you're just gonna make sure it's there, and then at this point, we're gonna to go to the top right-hand corner to the big screen mode. This also enables you to play games on like your TV and stuff, so if you wanna play from the comfort of your couch, then you can also use this. After that, you're gonna to go to this gear, and you're going to go to controller settings. At this point, I'm going to connect my controller. It may take a bit of time for your controller to be detected because drivers may need to be installed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait. It's up here now. And you'll also see that there's support for PlayStation controllers and generic game pads. So if you don't have an Xbox controller, perfectly fine. Now if you click on the identify button, you should feel it vibrating in your hands. That way you know it's connected. Now you're gonna hit back, and then you're gonna go to back again, and then you're gonna go to your library. And in your library, you're gonna go to games, and you're gonna find Minecraft. And here it is. Yep, here it is. I'm sorry, I kinda zoned out. Now you're gonna go to manage shortcut, and then controller configuration. And I have some great news for you because making a controller um, configuration is really difficult. I do it for emulators a lot of the time, like when I'm playing like the old Marios and stuff. So what's really nice is you can go to browse configs and community people who are playing Minecraft upload these. I chose this one by Sneaky420 because it's very similar to how you would play on PlayStation or Xbox. So what you're going to do is you're going to select that. And then now you can see all the configurations are already in there for you. And like disengage the minecart, move around, look at your point of view. All of that stuff is already on the controller for you so you don't have to do it. Once you're done here, you're going to hit apply configuration. And then you're going to hit done to get back to your shortcut. After that, you're going to hit view your shortcut and then play and right now I'm gonna be playing with the controller so we're just gonna wait for this to boot up in the launcher since it's not technically the game you're gonna have to use your mouse and keyboard and then hit play and it's gonna bring us into the game once it launches okay now here you can use the controller and I'm just gonna be using one of my random worlds to show you that it works and you can tell that it works because when I move around, it's way different than if you're using keyboard and mouse. And you'll see that, like, for me, it's a little sensitive um, compared to, you know, keyboard and mouse. But otherwise, I can do everything that I would normally do exactly how I could do it on PlayStation. And this is so great. So I really hope that this tutorial will help you with this. And if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments. And as always, I'd like to say thanks for watching.